Guys, I am starting a new segment on this series where I answer video submitted questions from you guys. If you want to send me a video question, email me at this email right here and I will answer your question live on these videos. Here is a good example of the types of questions that you can ask. What's good, Bryce? Big fan of your videos. We're already in August. What's been your favorite sneaker pickup of the year so far? Boom. So we'll use this as an example and I'll answer this question because I get it asked all the time. And that is... Right now, it is the Salehi Benbury Crocs. I just got these yesterday, and I'm in love. Now, I was very nervous to, to get them because they are quite a polarizing shoe, and I don't own any Crocs, and I haven't worn Crocs in, uh, like, literally maybe 15 years. I think last time I had a pair of Crocs, I was in grade 5 or something. Um, but these, when they dropped originally in that olive green colorway, I absolutely love them to death, and so I made it a mission to go grab them, but... As the case with all sneaker releases this year, they're like they were like impossible to get. Um, a lot, some people did get their hands on them, but I, however, didn't. Regardless, super happy to have these. I'm actually going on vacation in a few days to Portugal for two weeks, and uh, if you guys want to follow along, uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be bringing those there. This is going to be a great beach shoe. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited to uh, to wear those. Uh, so let's jump into some life updates. So for the more apparel um, clothing collection that I obviously have, for those that didn't know, I started a clothing brand called More Apparel. You can also follow that on Instagram for any uh, drop related info. And um, yeah, so I have the second samples done of the first clothing drop, and uh, we're going to have a, a release date of August 26th, which just so happens to be my birthday. So it's coming up in a couple of weeks, which gives me enough time once I get back from my trip to, uh, you know, plan some promo for that, and I'm really excited. So um, I'm wearing the fir the second sample of the first drop, and I'll pull up um, some, some photos and videos for you guys to check out, but basically for the second drop, um, the color for the graphic tee wasn't exactly right the first sample was more of like a natural green color whereas this one I wanted it to be a forest green um, which would of course match the hoodie and um, the inspiration for this drop was of like 1970s 1960s weightlifting Arnold Schwarzenegger Lou Ferrigno and um, when I think of that era of see photos of them working out it was very gr grungy and you know the gyms weren't high tech like they are today so it, to mimic that I wanted to add some bit of like a distressing a bit of like a weathered kind of look to the actual graphic and so that's what we did and I absolutely love how it looks and uh, we did it the same with the graphic on the back of the hoodie. Now, the hoodie, um, what we did for that is the logo on the front was too big on the first sample. So we shrunk it. I Because, you know, when you have a logo on a hoodie that's like sits over the breast, like you don't want it to be too, in my opinion. It's almost like when you think of those, um, those 90s and early 2000s Nike hoodies that are very desirable today. The check is like pretty small. It's not like a huge check. Um, so that's what we did. Now, for both of the shirt and the hoodie, I'm wearing a size medium and I'm 5'7". Um, so if you're in between sizes, I would say go up. Um, however, they do fit true to size. One thing I am super proud about both of these clothing items is that the quality is amazing. Like this is a legit quality, heavyweight, 100% ring spun cotton made in Canada. Like the, the quality on the tee and the hoodie is amazing for the hoodie it's uh we had to find a different supplier for it however it is like a thick heavyweight boxy fit hoodie i think it's like 14 ounces or 16 ounces i think i could be wrong so honestly i'm very excited that i get to do these types of things and they wouldn't be possible without you guys so thank you so so much um if you guys didn't watch the videos then i wouldn't be have thought that i could make a clothing brand because the I only would make it if I thought people would buy it and you guys seem to be really enjoying them just as much as I am so just thank you from the bottom of my heart um and yeah that's I'm I'm really excited I mentioned I'm going to Portugal so I'm excited for that I I'm gonna have YouTube videos that released while I'm away however I won't be vlogging I want to sort of take this as an actual time to have a vacation however I will be posting on TikTok 
and uh, Instagram as usual. Um, yeah, so let's jump into this. I'm really excited. I have the I have a TV in front of me, so if I'm looking off, it's because I'm, I'm looking at the screen. So we're gonna kick this video off with a guy uh, on Instagram, the kid with the green hat, and I just absolutely love the vibes um, that this guy has on his uh, photos. Um, as you can see, this one was taken, I think, in Paris, France. Um, so this guy's enjoying a croissant, but I love the vibe of it. You got the New Balance 550s um, with the shorts. You got a nice corduroy or a nice denim overshirt in a nice olive color with the tank top underneath, hat. This is just got, this is like a very wearable and very like Bryce Kicks outfit for me. This is definitely something that I would wear. I absolutely love it. Um, the only thing that I sort of would change, and this is just a personal preference for what I do, I probably would have worn like a like a, a like a pair of socks with the shoes, a nice little half sock or something. Um, there are shoes that I wear um, with no-show socks, like the Reebok Club C, something that has a, like a little bit more of like a slimmer silhouette. But I find 550s, they're sort of like Air Force Ones in that they're a little bit bulkier. So other than that, the tote bag, I mean, you, I don't know if the, you live here or you're traveling, um, but I, I don't know. I really love it. So I love this guy. This guy's a great follow on Instagram. So I would definitely uh, hit him up there. We're going to switch gears to more of a streetwear side that I personally do love. And this is Carge Delera uh, from Calgary, Alberta, Shadow Canada. And I like this fit for a number of reasons. Number one is the top. This is an incredible top. I don't know if you guys have ever heard this. I believe this is a cactus plant flea market, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, this one is just... It's 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 got that sort of like 90s vibe to it, oversized fit, um, and then you add the addition of the uh, the 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 vintage uh, Cleveland Browns hat, um, and overall, I think what brought it all together are those uh, the Monarch colorway of those Air Max One uh, Pata sneakers i really want those those are great if i could like if i had endless money i that's a sneaker that i would buy right now i really love that one and it's all like that whole collection i think we're going to look back on and think like wow that was a that was a great one because it kept it true with the same color blocking but it, the differences were uh, were noticeable enough to be like okay this is a collaboration next up we got jose flores and here's a this this is a this is like a good hybrid of like um you know sort of like a casual menswear mixed with like streetwear elements and so number one would be the uh the button down shirt it's got a nice checkered print to it um i believe it's a nice green color it has a bit of like an oversized fit to it with the jeans now these are jeans with a front slit on them like if you're looking for a different variety of types of pants to wear then this is definitely one i wonder if you could you know what now that i'm thinking about it i wonder if you could make this yourself like if with like an old pair of jeans either way the addition of the trucker hat is a great vibe and the side car heart bag i believe that's car heart i'm like 99 percent sure because i have a similar one that i just got recently um but regardless you know you got a ton of great accessories here and i absolutely love the addition of that yellow bandana on the back um i've been trying to sort of incorporate more um, looks with like a necktie or a bandana. So um, I think you did an excellent job here. And overall, the vibes are immaculate. Moving forward, we got all the way from Sydney, Australia, we got Cooper here. And uh, this is a great uh, look for, you know, that sort of cozy boy type of simplistic look. This has got uh, my aesthetic written all over it because as much as I love to incorporate details, I do have a pretty, you know, simple and um, aesthetic, you know, in terms of uh, outfits. So going with something like an oversized fit hoodie that has like a washed you know, that has a, a nice wash to it. That's a Carhartt hoodie, which is excellent. Those are always good quality. So they'll last you a long time. Light wash jeans. You guys know I love my light wash jeans. And, um, you know, pair of green metallic Air Jordan 4s. The vibes are immaculate. Um, and I love the backdrop um, that you have there. It's very, like, you know, minimal too. So the whole aesthetic of your photos are really good. Um, and I, I noticed you've been tagging me a lot in your photos. So keep doing it. I love, I love what you're doing, man. Um, so yeah, great fit here. Next up, we're going to move guys. We are international. Now we're over at London in the UK. Okay. Where my man I'm at. I like your fit here. I like your aesthetic too. Uh, this is a, a, like a, you know, a nice varsity jacket. You guys know I love my varsity jackets. However, this one is like a super, super wearable, right? You just got black with white sleeves. 
like you could wear this all year round with a white tee underneath you got some jewelry a watch i'm a big watch guy and then in terms of the pants you got a nice slim fit pants here's another fit uh, fit for you and this is these are two great examples if like i said if you're more of an if you like to dress a little bit more understated you know when when money is um uh, not of the abundance, like, you know, and, and it goes the same for me as well. You know, you want to wear clothes that don't necessarily pop as much because then they become more recognizable for like your Instagram audience. If that's if you're posting fit pics, right? So if you have like a pink hoodie and you post it once a month, people are going to be like, oh, like you post these all, all, all the time. But if you have like a pair of black jeans or a pair of light wash jeans, you can wear those almost in like every fit pick. It's all very wearable stuff. And the more you are able to wear a product, the more you get your value out of it. And overall, I love it. So I love, I love your, I love your style, man. I uh, keep killing it. Um, uh, now we are gonna switch gears and go for uh, some more pops of color here with "Can't Take My Cool Off." Appreciate you. Keep tagging me in your outfits, man. Um, and I, and I like, uh, I li love your fits. Now here is a great way to incorporate more color into your wardrobe. Um, and I love how, you know, the colors, they don't necessarily like match one another, but it, it all complements each other well. And you know, when you wear up yellow, is like a difficult color to pull off. And I love how you went there and you were just like, I'm going to pair it with like a blue Dodgers Jersey. Like I said, everything, everything works well together. Although it does, it's not like super matchy, you know, like if had you worn like a pair of blue sneakers, it probably would have been a too matchy. But so I love how you, you went out there. Um, and I, I don't know, I just really like your fit. Next up, another way to incorporate color is um, with my guy, uh, King Stooks here. Uh, so appreciate you tagging me. And um, yeah, so this, this tee is from Abercrombie. This is an Abercrombie graphic tee. I get asked a, a lot about where I buy my graphic tees. And uh, this is definitely a good place to buy them. They have sales all the time. Just recently, they had 20% off and on, on top of the clearance. So if you found any, you know, you, know, you can just stack those uh, discount codes here. I like how the, uh, you know, I've said this a number of times, one of my favorite ways to style graphic tees is to wear other clothing items that complement those colors. So, you know, you can see yellow on the car and the tee, you're wearing yellow shorts, and, uh, you know, there's yellow on the cap. And, uh, I mean, what can you say about those sneakers? It's like one of the best sneakers of the past 10, year. 10 years. It's probably maybe top three best off-white sneakers. So, kudos for you for having those super fresh and uh, you're killing it, man. So I absolutely love the fits. Keep tagging me. Appreciate it. Next up, we got Brandon Harris, the homie here. Um, I love your fits as well. And uh, once again, graphic tees. Like if that, if if sneakers and streetwear is more of your type of vibe, then keep keep buying those graphic tees, man. Um, and like I said, above the knee shorts. You guys are starting to see the trend um, for sure. I love your hat. That's a strawberry um hat the guy kai and levi bentley they're canadian so uh from toronto as well so um you know i, I respect them and i actually i uh, look up to their clothing brand that they've created strawberry there's trinity and uh i think i think the, those are the two i think there's one more but regardless love it um i love a brown hat brown hats are super wearable brown hats are perfect if you have brown hair i'm telling you I, so if you have brown hair, you need to get yourself a brown hat. Uh, I just love how it looks, the shades and, uh, one, you know, one of the best Travis Scott sneakers, the, uh, the brown lows. Um, so keep doing your thing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to check out the first part of reviewing your outfits or part two, you can do so, um, by, uh, clicking right here or right there. So why don't we click on one of those videos? I'll meet you guys there. Appreciate you supporting me.